This video is brought to you by Sailrite. This video will discuss how to pick out the right sewing machine needle for your application. There are three steps in picking out the right sewing machine needle. The first step is to pick the needle system. Identify which system fits your sewing machine. Step two, choose the right needle for your type of application. And step three, pick the needle size. After identifying which needle system your sewing machine takes, let's now discuss the needle types. There's the round point slash sharp needle, which is our most popular, the ballpoint needle, the SD1 needle, the Serve 7 needle, and the DI leather needle. We'll now examine each type of needle individually. This is the round point slash sharp needle. It's the most common needle type and can be used for all general sewing. The majority of our canvas work, sail work, vinyl work, and even home sewing is done with this type of needle. This round point slash sharpie needle is the most commonly purchased needle here at Sailrite. The next type of needle is the ballpoint needle. It's designed to sew stretchy materials like ultra leather, ultra suede, mosquito netting, and neoprene. The blunt point preserves the elasticity of the fabric by allowing the thread to pass between the fibers of the fabric rather than through them. Notice the standard needle on the left. It has more of a sharp point compared to the ballpoint needle on the right. It has more of a blunted tip. The next needle up is the SD1 needle. It's a specialty needle optimized for fine leather or leather clothing. It works well for heavy sailcloth assemblies. Its cutting point is smaller than the DI needle. Practically cuts, then pushes fibers out of the way. At the very end of the SD1 needle, there's a very sharp cutting point. It's much like a spear point. It cuts fibers. Then the rest of the needle immediately transitions into a standard needle. And this is the DI leather needle. It's a specialty needle designed for working with leather. Optimized for heavy, dry, hard leather. The blade cuts the fibers so the needle does not have to separate them. Taking a closer look at the DI tip, you'll notice very aggressive blades at the point of this needle. Instead of just penetrating the leather, it cuts the leather so the needle can enter and exit smoothly. The final type of needle we want to discuss is called the Serve 7 needle. It's a specialty needle with an optimized scarf shape for sewing through heavy fabrics. It's perfect for use with Tanara thread where a 14 or a size 16 is recommended. Its reinforced blades help to avoid skip stitches and reduce needle breakage. Because of the extra strength of this optimized needle, you can usually choose one size smaller needle. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll understand which type of needle to use for your particular application. If you need help, be sure to contact Sailrite. Also in the Sailrite catalog is a thread and needle recommendation chart. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.